Okay, today I will be going over welding doors. You can see I've ground all the areas, including the bottom down there. Here, I've already started. I'm doing this here to fold that over, and you'll see that later. But I like to do this first because then it's easy. this doesn't move as much. I've already started down here, and you get an idea what I'm doing. There's my filler rod. Just basically start tacking it, and then I'll just keep bending it down and curving it when it's hot from the welds to get it to fit the curvature of the door and the body. So, put the camera on the stand and you can watch me go at it. Okay, what you'll notice is I'm just tacking it every few inches. Depending on how the rod wants to bend or if it won't stay in place, you know, 
or a lot of times when it gets to an area I like, I'll tack it and I'll move on and beat it down. It helps like this here, working it this way. I was actually, even though the gap was smaller, I was able to, once I got it in there, to keep working it down inside. So basically that. And then if you'll notice, when I got this point, you might see me do something strange where I stuck this under the rod and then I hit the rod in the center. Well, what I was doing is putting a bend in. Sometimes when I do this, I'll actually bend, I'll actually bend this in somewhat of a U. That way, because it's it's a lot easier to bend it in than it is to pull it back out. You'll notice that at one point I even took this, took this and pried it out to get it back out because it went in farther than I wanted. So then I just use. I got you notice I got an assortment of them, a big one, long skinny one a little short skinny one just to be able to work that in and out now the thing how it's gonna stay the only reason I tack it like that is because it's when you're doing this and trying to weld it at the same time it a lot of times it'll break heck when you go back and weld it sometimes it'll break and it might jump but it's a lot easier if you tack it like this less likely of the piece flinging out because it's still got tension on it isn't conformed to that shape. It's steel. It has a memory that it wants to try and go back to straight. So, but basically, that's all I do, all the way down the whole side of the car. I even do this in the trunk. A lot easier in trunks and stuff where it's flat. But so my preferred method. Uh, I try and keep it as smooth as possible because what's happened before, especially on the back, somebody will come and try and hit you on the tire. And if you're using big old thick rebar they'll actually catch the rebar and I've had the rear doors just ripped off the car because it catches on that rebar just perfect to the guy's bumper and it'll just rip the whole rear door off no matter how great you get it welded when somebody's full tracking you yeah it's gonna the sheet metal's gonna give and you'll notice the car ran at Buckeye was like that if you go back and watch that or see the aftermath videos that both rear doors are just basically ripped wide open and there was nowhere to repair it the last few times I run it, I just cut it out and had giant gaping holes. So there you go. There's the basics of it. And after I'm done with this, then I'll get the big welder. Right now I'm using the flux core welder just because this is nasty anyways and burn it up. I don't like using the flux core for two reasons. It's too messy. I want to paint the car and someone make it nice. And also this little bitty 110 welder, the duty cycle, it can't weld for very long. It's got a little yellow light or comes on there where that welder it's 250 amps 250 volt it'll run all day long no problem so especially when you're just doing sheet metal yeah that thing can weld up the half inch steel and then again the dew cycle goes down but when you're welding sheet metal pff, that thing will run all day long so there you go just the basics I'll leave it at that I don't think you want to watch the boring process when me doing all this plus I hate it so much it takes me days to finish it See you later.